It is the first Friday of Lent, and local fish fries are hopping tonight. They're a big money maker for local parishes and volunteer fire companies. And while the pandemic seems to be slowing down, supply issues that it caused are still affecting prices and what's on the menu. Ross Gadotti is live at the New Stanton Volunteer Fire Department with a look at how they're dealing with those challenges. Ross. I am in the nerve center of all things battered and fried at the New Stanton Volunteer Fire Company. This is the kitchen where the folks behind me have been working hard for several hours. Firefighters, if you don't know any, they are very undaunted despite the lack of some menu items and some other things. The departments we spoke to basically say, have fish, we'll fry. The kitchen at New Stanton Volunteer Fire Department Social Hall is filled with people who generally try to put out anything that involves frying or fire. But not today. We're in our 37th year of doing fish fries. That's David Hogger, the president of the department. He tells KDKA there's gold in those styrofoam containers. With every meal that goes out the door, the department becomes just that much better equipped to do their job. Indirectly, you're buying somewhat of an insurance policy when you buy a fish dinner. From maintaining trucks to turnout gear, the sale of fish, halushki, and you name it, makes that all happen. And it helps us buy that protective gear that on average could be five or seven thousand dollars a firefighter. With pandemic restrictions all but gone, Auger expects more people will be leaving with plastic bags full of Friday night dinner. However, due to COVID related shortages, finding these things needed to make a fish fry happen has been a bit challenging. It is more expensive this year. On average, our uh, cost of goods went up about 11 percent. And shortages for some departments means either higher prices or smaller menus. So we looked to see what we could get, what we could get all the time, so we didn't stop. But then we um, got what we could, limited it down, and it's going to help us out too a little bit. Yeah, it's harder on some people. They don't get everything that they want, but it's also making it a little bit easier on us. You know, when you think about it, the turnout helmets that firefighters wear, give you an idea, they cost about $250 per helmet. You got a big department, that's a lot of helmets you got to pay for them. Now, new at six, we're going to talk to some folks who believe that essentially buying fish at a volunteer fire company is a civic duty. Make sure you join us then, reporting live in New Stanton, Ross Gadotti, KDK News.